Where is Jackson? He hasn't said anything about this. I think he is so done with Destiny that he hasn't even watched this. Which is crazy, because he has like 10,000 10, 10, hours in this game. Yeah, I'll check out the vid doc. I don't think I'll watch the whole vid doc, but I'll at least check out a bit of it. See if it's enough to get me back into Destiny. People seem very positive about it. I don't play Hunter, so I don't give a fuck about this here. <clears throat> He's a membership Wojak. Oh, right, I still have the audio muted. My bad. All you've missed was a bunch of, like, buzzing. We are going into the pale heart of the Traveler, and the Traveler has chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's Me? empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image. They combined of all subclasses. A guardian with light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really, really? Need are you this exaggerating? In the final shape, this is the ultimate form of being a Guardian to wield light and darkness at oh, the yeah. same time. Oh yeah, wait, you're right. I see it now. Bottom exactly left. Exactly to be that. Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities from different damage types together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness rough. is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. In Prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter as you deal damage so is prismatic a separate subclass because if it is it the respective why would you ever choose one of the other ones sides are full if you, you can just mix the best parts of level of classes. power that we're calling transcendence i love transcendence because you do these cool motions for warlocks we have this cool like mystic pose hunters are going to do this cool like the titan when we're just go while you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. Titans, strength. I mean, th and this does look cool. For the warlock, I stasis like that idea. And void together. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast transcendence, so you can loop them together one after the other. <laughs> That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of combinations. Am I fucking stupid? Why would you ever play anything besides Prismatic then? <laughs> I'm not complaining, I think it sounds much cooler than the other no, subclasses, but why would you ever touch the others? I think that Prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game-breaking, I'm not gonna lie. A, a little, a little bit? Thanks for your split. You're gonna be like, oh no, what have I done? I'm gonna be here all night. Thanks for pugs. It does, I mean, I think this is very it's cool not looking. just about the mastery of light and Rambo. dark. It's not Rambo. just about using multiple powers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work hey, in good to see you in really chain. interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian feel very uniquely you. This like really... I mean, that's not really going to happen. People are just going to find the best possible synergy for the meta. Like, really wild stuff. I love Brian uh, being a hunter Apollo. and having Gunpowder Gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, oh, wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens, and then you blow them up as well. And it's like, okay. I didn't think I could ever do those two things at the same time. And you're telling me I can do as much as I want? 
You can throw a Withering Blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your Gunpowder Gamble's like fully charged, right? And so like certain interactions I think get a lot easier <laughs> just peanut because we've sort of made peanut. the aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive, a little bit, a little bit looser. So I think when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges. And then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control, or you can throw a Devour. And so you're, you know, jumping in, Lightning Surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain. There's gonna be some fucking broken builds with that. As for a sure. Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. 100% power very, creep like, through the roof. Fun, Which is fine. I, build that you can I don't just, like, destroy hate everything that. Around you and it, it, it's super fun. There was this moment I just for don't me see, where so, I was like, wait a minute. I Maybe they get to it later, but I truly don't see with this in the game why anyone would ever choose to just lock themselves down to just solar or whatever. Like, why would you ever choose something that's not prismatic? Because you can just mix and match the best parts of all of the other subclasses. It just doesn't really make sense. Plus, they said you get more fragments and more um, um, aspects on Prismatic. So, like, you get more out of it, too. Like, I, I don't see why you'd ever choose anything else. Why is that a problem? No, oh, it's not. I just feel like at that point, just fucking remove the other subclasses and just roll everything in the Prismatic. Like, why even bother? Cut out the middleman. Like, I'm not complaining about it. I think it's super hype. But I just feel like there's no reason to have the other subclasses at that point. You probably could have just, like, rolled it all into Prismatic and just called it, like, this is your final shape as the Guardian, basically. Like, this is your final form to the final shape. It'll depend if there's any drawbacks to using this, but also the exotic part from this will make it even more busted. What's the exotic part? I haven't gotten to that yet. You can send out Threadlings and, and have, no, I have not seen that drama, Jay. But I do remember that game. these moments of escalation within the combat, and I think that's really exciting for me. If you combine Bleak Watcher and Feed the Void, you consume your grenade to throw your Bleak Watcher out there. And so it's, you know, locking stuff down with stasis, doing crowd control. You can clean that stuff up pretty easily mm -hmm. with, you know, an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those Another whistleblower from Boeing is calling them out on one of their planes designs. Every hope time this devour one stays safe. So let's do loop your bleak watcher. I and hope so, so you can as have well. like multiple bleak watchers out in the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just like launching your cool strand melees out and everything's dying and it's great. <laughs> Embracing the challenge of like, how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? Like, how do we twist them and oh, so them that, Bob. push and pull this and Appreciate that it. to make them work together? I'm excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make of their own custom builds with their own exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I am too. I mean, that sounds cool. Is there any, like, good content to go along with it, or do we just have to wait for the raid? Thank you, some queen. I appreciate it, Melly. And yeah, I just watched the Joker 2 trailer. I have no strong thoughts on it. I don't like musicals, but I really like the first Joker, so I'll give this one a fair shake. Was in the last new raid bad? Root of Nightmares? I wouldn't even say it was bad, it was just way, way, way too easy. So it was underwhelming on day one. There's a prime team. In the final shape, we're gonna be making these new exotic class items. Oh, this is what you're talking about, Sneaky? These new exotic class items allow you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together into one single exotic. That's outrageous. The perks that come on them are actually random rolled. 
One thing that is gonna be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well. How in the fuck would you possibly These balance that? These items are <laughs> that's, all that's about ridiculous. cosmetic and making that feel good. So it's gonna be all about the enhancing your builds and your combination I'm of afraid of flying. light and darkness and achieving transcendence. And, and yeah, what I just talked. I was does. just talking about that, Connor. They also look so good. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite. And also, I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. I've said this for years. I think that's the best design philosophy. Instead of tuning things down, like, instead of just nerfing everything that seems strong, bring other things up to it. This is kind of an extension of that where make something super strong and then balance the game up to it. So that way it matches. So that way it's not like broken per se. You just make the challenge match that. So you'd probably have to give them a higher health pool would be my guess. Like, that'd be the obvious. But I, I like that philosophy. I think that's going in the right direction. It is power creep, but I've always said it's a lot more fun for some power creep versus everything being fucking nerfed in Weenie Hut Jr. I, I've never liked that because it feels so underwhelming to go backwards. Thanks for your sub swerve. It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. It just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. They look amazing. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just Maybe really ties piece. into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics, and even from classes that aren't you, adds this element of spice to them. And the fact that it's random rolls, you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds. That is outrageous. So, I mean, if I was to get back into Destiny, this would be the perfect time, because pretty much everything pre this is going to be worthless going forward. At least from the sound of it. You'll still want the exotics unlocked? That's the true, I guess. Are this new witness faction. When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. And you've seen a cool looking new enemy type. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the, the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. This it looks like, like the shit from Iron Man 2 that Mickey Rourke made. Or not that Mickey Rourke made, that Mickey Rourke didn't like. What was the other guy's name? Army? Not Ar Is his name Army Hammer? Who played the, the bad guy? It was Army Hammer? Okay embodiment of the witness or justin hammer justin hammer no wait it's definitely army isn't it oh no it wasn't you're right it wasn't him oh this is the guy that had all of those scandals isn't it yeah wrong one 
The Grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the Dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. That's going to be such a it's fucking a annoying enemy. In Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. It, something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. Where's Jackson? He hasn't said anything about this. I think he is so done with Destiny version. that he hasn't even watched this, which is crazy because he has like 10,000 10, 10, hours cool in this game. Acrobatic attacks. That's how much Lightfall hurt him on a personal level. They hurt. They have two of these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things and will just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful, because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm like looking everywhere every time I go into a fight and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there a husk somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. I hope you have a good night, lady. <laughs> the weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze hey, you. Thanks so much, Guardian. They have a strand ability that will pull you across. Can't the on stream. But I can the check fact it out. that you can get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the fight. The Weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back and like snaps and like pulls you towards that character. As one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. Obligatory physics engine in a really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. I mean, it fits it that though, like, like really with Strand. Cool through line, through all Keep in mind, this. Strand is the same one that has like the grappling the hook that you pull yourself to. So, I mean, it fits. We wanted to a deliver guardian. something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging. And for probably players. devil, especially with it this. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. We need to go. Keep moving. Go. Charlie's buying into this. I don't know. I'll wait and see more. But I do like the direction. Prismatic sounds great. I absolutely love <laughs> mixing the fucking perks and shit. That's great. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Have you seen the horror movie Connoisseur? No, but I have seen Bavarium. Yeah, that's what I just heard about Buff. Someone was talking about that with Friday the 13th. Take this power, Guardian. Be brave in dark places. For we are the light of hope. Definitely interesting. It's got my attention again, which I didn't expect. I thought for sure I wasn't going to bother with Final Shape. 
But I'll wait to see a little bit more from it. I do like some of the ideas there. Actually, pretty much all the ideas there I liked. Thanks for membership, Katie. Flesh and Blood seems cool. I As might play that at some point. Approaches, and the forces of the Witness surge at the borders of the city. Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons. Oh, that's that. That's what I just saw.